Temu show you guys you can use keyframes to add extremely smooth animations for your music videos inside of Premiere Pro. If you guys are new to the channel, my name is Jacob and I'm uploading every single day for the month of December. So if you guys want to lock in on your editing and improve, make sure you hit subscribe. And we're also offering buy one, get one free editing packs on our website. So also go check that out. Anyways, let's hop right into this. So opened up in the timeline here, we have this SD kit music video. And to get started, the base of all smooth animations inside of Premiere Pro is our boy, Mr. Adjustment Layer. So right click on your project, Go over to new item and click the adjustment layer here. Make sure it matches your sequence and all that. Hit OK and drag and drop it inside of your timeline here. So this is our bread and butter. If you aren't familiar, this is pretty much a transparent layer with nothing on it. So I'm going to go ahead and mute the audio track and we'll continue right now. So let's say we want to do one on the very beginning here. So I'm going to crop our adjustment layer and then just put this one to the side for now. And basically the key to all smooth transitions as well is our boy, Mr. Transform. So basically, Premiere Pro doesn't allow you to add motion blur unless you use this transform technique. So drag and drop it on your clip, go over to effect controls, and you want to turn off your use composition shutter angle, this box right here. You can see it if I expand it out, use composition shutter angle, make sure that's off. And then you basically want to turn this shutter angle to 360. I'll show you guys how it works right now super quickly. 360 is the max. So if I create a scale right here and I go a couple frames over and I make it like zoom in a lot and we go in between, you guys can see the motion blur at zero versus at 360. So if I delete this last frame and we create like a, uh, a zoom in here, bring this to the end, you guys can see the edges are gonna have motion blur there. Oh, let's see if I turn this down, right? Really adds a lot more depth. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna have a super quick zoom in. So we're gonna keyframe our position and scale and we're gonna have it zoom right up to his face right here. Bring that out a bit. And here is the ultimate sauce here, which is the reason why I made this video. So if you highlight these first two frames, you right click on them, go to temporal interpolation. And then basically this is like reversed. So at the beginning, you think you would do ease in, you actually want to do ease out. And then at the end here, you actually want to do ease in. So if I go ahead and play this now, you guys can see how much smoother that is versus before. A little bit of lag there. But if you go ahead and do this sauce, ease out at the beginning, ease in at the end, you get way smoother keyframes. So I'm just going to copy this one right here and we're going to have it uh, zoom back out. And we're going to have it do that at the end here like this. Maybe in like the last frame. Super fire. So it works really well, especially for some scenes with some more energy. So we'll work on this one right here. So we're going to unmute it for this one. I'm just going to go ahead and turn it down because it's very loud. And we're going to grab our adjustment layer, put it on top of here. And right where he says A, we're going to create our zoom in effect here. So once again, drag and drop transform on here, turn off this, turn this up to max. So scale, we're going to zoom right in there. And then we'll go ahead and bring it back. Maybe we'll bring it back out to like 150. So I'll play it. And then if we do our little keyframe trick here, ease out, ease in. Super fire guys. Before versus after. You guys can see how much more energy that adds. And then if we add another adjustment layer, we just get one here quick. And then if we do a little bit more sauce on this using our transform here, let's scale position 360 off. And then we zoom in all the way. I think we need to do this later on. Yes, yeah, so we get more of a, a zoom in effect right about here. And then do the out and then the in. And then boom, we have super crazy motion. So we had the before versus the after. If you guys are looking to get these instantly, if you've been wondering what this is in the bottom right, if you aren't familiar, this is my plugin fast effects. Let me show you guys how it works. You basically want to select an open video layer and an open audio layer, and you can go to any of these effects here. So let's try the soft hit with flash, wherever your playhead is, you just double click this and it's going to instantly import in a hit effect or any effect of your choice. So right where he says a, we'll line it up. And then right where this ends here, we can add a wipe. 
Maybe we can even add this uh, like right here. Super, super hard guys. Let me show you guys some other stuff inside of here. So if we go into flashes, you have all your vertical smacks and stuff like that. We'll set this to fast and then hit import on the keyboard. And then we could bring this over here. You see without it and then with it. So much more energy, guys. If you want to grab this, it'll be linked down below with our buy one, get one free sale. But that is pretty much it for this tutorial. If you guys enjoyed the smooth keyframe animations, make sure to leave a like. Go check out our editing packs down below and hit subscribe for tutorials for the rest of December. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.